Jamaican-style chicken chop suey typically incorporates local Jamaican ingredients and flavors, such as scotch bonnet peppers, thyme, allspice, and Jamaican curry powder. It might also feature traditional Jamaican vegetables like callaloo or okra alongside the more typical chop suey vegetables. The dish reflects the fusion of Chinese and Jamaican culinary influences. In Jamaican-style chicken chop suey, you might find the chicken seasoned with Jamaican spices like jerk, seasoning or curry powder before being stir-fried with the vegetables. Scotch bonnet peppers add a spicy kick, while thyme and allspice contribute to the distinctive Jamaican flavor profile. The result is a delicious fusion dish that combines the best of Chinese stir-fry technique with the bold flavors of Jamaican cuisine. Once the chicken and vegetables are stir-fried together, a sauce is typically added to bring everything together. This sauce could include ingredients like soy sauce, ginger, garlic, and possibly a splash of Jamaican rum or coconut milk for an extra Caribbean twist. The dish is often served over rice or noodles, providing a hearty and flavorful meal that showcases the unique blend of Jamaican and Chinese culinary influences. Man, say my cook chicken chop story. Chef, now no rice. Chef, no know him, I do. You better go on and come back with the rice. They don't want no more rice. Uh, you cook out the thing and I say, I say, I say, I say, I say, I cook out the thing. What do you mean? I cook out the thing. 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 I cook out the whole of my rice. So we cook some. No, we. The boss. So I cook chicken. Chopped story. Man, some enough to make it dry out. Alright. Alright, yeah, man, sir. Check the, the story before you story before you go again, I saw make sure. You know, let you have to check your carrot, man, we have to store again. You hear that? That's the carrot more if you just tenderize it a little bit more. Alright, boss. Alright, so it's a vegetable business in you know, us, so. Let's so get this carrot or tenderize. Chicken and vegetable. Chicken chop suey. You know, Chinese are the same. Jamaican business this. Cook like a Jamaican. Jamaican cooking journey. Alright. So we just want to get the carrot a little tenderized, you know? Low, low heat. Mm. Yep. Chicken. So inside this we have chicken cut up. In small pieces, pop show, carrot. And that's it and season with herbs and spice, tomatoes. Yep. The chef is back. Yeah man, run off your mouth. Yes man, we did add the So see we get all the parents and all. So the cask again. Oh you're fine it. You didn't have that jacket there. Yeah. Chef there, and so don't know where I could chicken sub through it. I tell us if 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 Cook like a Jamaican chef, this is you know, a uh, Spanish chef or uh, American chef. Chef out of Jamaican. Best man, take that off from here. Yeah. Chat all about things, man. You want to say, how are you, chef? So we have a thing I'm telling all the way so wash and cook, wash and cook, no whole for dirty pay, wash and cook. <laughs> so a long time I'm not reminding about that. See it? Different chef, wash and cook, wash and cook. 
All right, so right there, so. Wash and cook. Chicken over there, so. Chicken strap to it. Now, nah, hurry to wash and cook. Back to the cooking. I'm going to get done with this now, man. I'm going to run with you, man. Yeah, wash the rice. All this wash the rice. Get it clean. You know, wash jasmine rice, you know. Well, but me always wash it, you know. Yeah, boss. So it's got a moisture and nice, you know, wash it up. I think you're done this still in the bench, man. I don't like it, you know. Come on, just wash your rice and put water in the bench. Tell me the first time you man. I think you're quick this, man. Put it on pause and wait for you. <laughs> you know, I'm telling you, back in the day, I'm going to say, when you wash rice, you can use the water Yes, yes, it's enough. Hey, I'm telling you, you're really accurate, man. So fuck you when you hear them, man. I'm telling you, man, you're an idiot. You believe everything, you know? Remember, I'm telling you. Any idiot, you believe everything. Alright, so after you wash the rice, you catch the right amount of water upon the rice. Which is like an inch of, three quarter inch of water over yeah, there. Yeah, I don't know anyone that's in there to me, boss. Oh, I'm telling you. I watch you, I watch my video there, man. Let me know that I listen and I say, yes, you're too many. You know what you're doing? Yeah, you know what you're doing? I hope I'm doing it. Next one. Let me watch you cook for Ben's man. I'm going to cook. Alright, so, no, no matter. You know you yeah, watch and see. So you add a little salt. A pea for your wedding then. Optional, if you don't want to put no salt, well, let us know it how you cook it. <laughs> Simple. <laughs> you gotta put a little piece of butter, add some flavor. Yeah, yeah. Really, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna you see me? I yeah, expose my business to show people how to cook. Business. Under your business, a cooking business. And you are just a cook your food. Who are cooking your food? See? So eat that. Cover it down. Medium meat. You can start to eat, but medium meat, another pound of yes. See it? So when that done, I butter white rice. Check my video out with butter white rice. <laughs> yeah. So it thing goes. So butter white rice and chicken stuff through it. So we never really show how we go about putting this together. You know, so just watch the video and tell me if you like it. You hear from the chef himself. If you think this video was educational or interesting, please leave a like, subscribe, press the notification bell to see more videos like this. Yeah. Alright, so uh, until then, see you in my next video. Peace. I'm out.